February 15th, 2021, Lesson 107, Truth Will Correct All Errors in the Mind. Okay. So, the prior video, we were speaking on, what was it? Uh, let me be still and listen to the truth. Okay. So, as you're allowing yourself to be still within yourself, that's when you're allowing yourself to access the information that's within yourself. When you're not calm, there's no way that stillness can speak, okay? What many um, individuals in terms of like fighting or, when they look at men specifically, okay? They look at men's poise and how calm they are within themselves. And women also kind of test this out in some form of manner, right? Because if you are present within yourself, you are calm and centered, okay? You are the source of all grounding energy. And when you have that ability to be calm, even in the midst of fear, challenges, obstacles, that shows what you are able to handle, right? Your capabilities and your skills. Because most oftentimes, even if it's something that you've just told yourself subconsciously, you're going to relax within that tension, okay? Someone's ability to handle tension is their ability to handle the challenge, okay? So their skill meets the level of, of challenge, which means that they flow. That's why you see these individuals that are you know, superstar athletes and they just do it with such an ease. And that's because they've done it so many times within the repetition, but not 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 only that, but they also do it with the same kind of focus, okay? So when you are allowing yourself to have that presence or attention, awareness, focus, they all kind of fall within the same synonymous umbrella, if you want to call it, you are now allowing yourself to show what you are because your fight or flight mechanism is not being activated your vagus nerve is not constricting, your mind is not chattering, okay? Your emotional uh, stability or equilibrium is also at a place where it's, it's meeting the conditions. Although you may feel fear, you are now being courageous in the face and in the midst of fear. So when you are allowing yourself to be still, you're able to be the eye of the storm, right? And this is something I learned from David Data. Because as men, presence is everything. Everything outside of presence is feminine. So presence is being connected to the source of masculine energy. Now, from a spiritual aspect, you want to be still to also know who you are, okay? And also know what is truth, okay? Because if you have these inclinations, proclivities, tendencies that are constantly driving you to do things and not allowing you to actually take a moment to sit down and say, okay, this is what I want, then you're not going to receive what you want, okay? You think what you want and that's what you'll get. Think what you want, that's all you will get, okay? So if my thoughts for the predominant, predominantly for the day is to find salvation, forgive myself, then I'm going to act in such manner, okay? No one's doing the thinking, no one's doing the feeling, no one's doing the acting, okay? This is just an unfolding of what it's supposed to be. So as I'm now listening to truth from this place of stillness, now it's very similar to thought experiments, right? You put the intention out there and you're going to receive the answer back. Okay, it's uh, reciprocation, okay? Be careful what you wish for. So famous thought experimenters would be Albert Einstein, okay? That's how he discovered the, um, what is it, the theory of relativity, okay? He was basically dreaming that he was going down a hill in a wagon, right? And basically he started to see, okay, the way that I'm perceiving time is different the way that people perceive time. Okay, so what does that mean? Just like the first person that puts 
the space station up in space, right? He thought about it within his dream, he put the intention out there, and it was reciprocated. So we have something within ourselves, a supercomputer within ourselves, maybe our subconscious mind, but you can call it spirits, that is always allowing us to know what is the answer to our problems, okay? Because we're focusing on the answer rather than the problem. So when we are now allowing ourselves to forgive ourselves, then we do that for others. And it becomes this um, positive feedback loop, okay? And for today's lesson, for lesson 107, we are now stating that truth will correct all errors in my mind. So, like I said yesterday, I broke again my word, right? So what does that mean? But really, my real word is being vulnerable and honest, no matter what, because I'm also human and I want you guys to understand that not everybody's perfect, okay? We are the most perfectly imperfect, and that's all we know. We are as culpable as our awareness allows us to be, okay? So you can do no wrong, ever. So when we are allowing ourselves to let truth correct our errors, we're starting to see that illusions disappear with truth, right? Just like the shadows, right? They disappear with the lights. Errors are illusions that are unrecognized for what they are, okay? And they disappear without that energy of belief. You put an intention to move your fingers, they're going to move. Just like you put an intention out there in the world, it's going to reciprocate. So if you keep feeding these things that are dead, it's only gonna give you dead ends, okay? So when we try to get to a state of mind where we're loving and safe, we want to remember a time that we were feeling loved and safe, okay? So sometimes we have to work through our childhood wounds to get back to that source of good energy, okay? And you have to understand that once you are now ad adopting these new, um, I guess, corrections within your mind, right, from all the errors, you are now going to feel that for the rest of your life, right? So, because I'm allowing myself to do that with parts Right? Because, again, everybody's going to go through their own process. Everybody's going to be different. So the way that you're going to figure this out is going to be completely different. You stay quiet within yourself. And that's when you know when it is true. Right? right now it's very quiet. I'm expressing myself the way that it needs to be expressed. There's no inclination to try to do this any different than it is right now. Okay? So there is no fear. There is no attack. Right? Truth is here to stay. And why is that? Because truth is that which is never changing, ever changing, okay? It's not going to change. Truth is going to be truth the way it's supposed to be. You could try to poke it anyway. It's still going to be the same thing. So no matter how you interpret it, it's all the same mountain, however we get there, okay? So it's not going to alter, and it's always going to be there for you, okay? So what the Spirit is trying to say is that it does not ask you for what you do not have. And it's very important to understand because we fault ourselves with these guilt and shame and even fear, the grief, right? Sometimes we close off ourselves. It makes it very difficult for us to even express ourselves. And spirit is not going to ask you anything that you do not have, right? So if you don't have the capability to correct your errors in your mind, right, and be whole, so it's not going to ask you to do that, okay? Truth will correct my mind, my error in my mind, and I will rest in them, in him who is myself, okay? So, now that you're starting to understand that you are made in the image of God, then there's no reason that you're ever apart from that. You're never apart from truth. You're never apart from God. You're never apart from spirits because they're all the same thing. And now you are advocating, okay, just like I am in this moment, to speak for all the world and him who would release the world as he would set you free, okay? So when we release, in terms of the release technique, we say we must want imperturbability more than we want to control, more than we want approval, more than we want security. You must want the world more than you want anything 
You must want freedom more than you want the world, right? What did I say before? Okay, you must want imperturbability more than you want control, approval, and security, okay? That means power, love, survival, being one with everything, being separated, all these things that the ego are, is trying to validate within itself, right? That's what you're trying to release. Because now there is no other room but to speak truth. So as you allow yourself to be still and be still with truth, now you're starting to allow yourself to let that release, okay? This is me expressing what needed to be released because that would be something that I would have to eventually deal with, right? So better now than later. Why is that? Because later it would be a lot worse, right? The guilt would just come in. It needs to be worked out as quickly as it needs to be worked out, okay? Truth will correct all my errors in my mind. So if I am trusting that I'm doing the right thing, right time, then yesterday needed to happen so I can learn this lesson. Simple as that. Okay, so for me to understand what I did before, right, I had to go through that shame, but now it's different because now I am choosing to have truth correct all my errors within my mind, okay? Because my mind is one whole thing. My mind had created my reality. My mind had created this entire universe, right? So allowing myself to see the truth even when, because in that moment, you know, you're inebriated or intoxicated or something, and you're like, there's no way that, you know, like, God, you know, put me through this position, like, put me through this to be in this position. And you have to understand that you're never apart from God. So even if I was dealing with my ego and having these interesting thoughts, never apart because that was necessary for me to have this lesson because God knew exactly what needed to be learned from this lesson which is the same thing that is always being learned that you can always be saved right you have the ability just like Jesus showed us to be saved right sins is just missing the point because you are missing God right? you are missing God within yourself and sometimes we have to look within ourselves to find it. So we take that as an offer for peace and joy, okay? Because that's what we're going to receive back because that is what our inherent rights is. So remember that truth is always here. It's never ever, it's never, ever going to change. It's not going to alter or morph in any other way so you can like it's always going to be the same thing every single time once you start to understand that then you can understand what is the voice of god within yourself that's when you start to understand who you are that's when you start to understand what your purpose is and your vision that's what opens the world for you so you can allow the world to unfold through you Everything is reciprocated by the choices that you make. And the more you make conscious choice, the more you're present, the more you're allowed to receive these presents or these gifts.